Well, hello. <laughs> Let me introduce you to Willie. Willie is about, I would say, maybe a two, maybe even a three-year-old English setter. Uh, this is the equipment that he came on. Ouch. This is the equipment that he came on. Uh, flexi, uh, flexi leash. I cannot tell you how much I hate flexi leashes. I have never seen anybody walk a dog well on a flexi leash. All right. So there, I find nothing enjoyable about this. All right. So, ouch. So let me share with you something that I designed coming up on three years ago. So it's this simple little half inch swivel clip, five millimeter paracord, that which is the size of your shoestring. It's got a little disc on it. I'll explain that in a minute. And this little loop right here is where you hook your leash to. So first thing we do now, if if I was to instruct you on how to use a retractable leash, you buy it, you take it out of the packaging, and you toss it in the trash, because that's about as good as what it's used for. You clip this on their collar. I walk my dogs on the left side, so if, so you, if you do, you drop it down their right side, drop the cord down the right side, pull it around their, right, wrap it around their chest, you take this little loop, you pass it through this clip, you unclip this, or unclip this disc over here, and there's a little slit in it. You lay it underneath and you pop it right back on there. That keeps this from falling back through. This is where you hook your leash to, the little loop right here. Take this off. So, what happens here is that if he would move right now, lunge out like he did with his uh, uh, flexi. This is gonna cinch up on him rather quickly. And early on, it could startle the dog. You may hear a little chirp or two, right? As soon as he backs up, stops, whatever, it's gonna relax. So this he finds undesired, this is desired. Okay, so I have some treats with me. I am gonna use them not to get him to walk with me, but to thank him for what he's doing. So I always start out holding my leash in my hand and we're gonna take just about two steps. I'm gonna reach down, I'm gonna lift straight up, which is gonna put pressure on his chest as I say wait, and he's gonna stop on a dime. Okay, come here, Willie. Wait, oh, that was pretty good. Let's get you, let's get you uh, on your click. I'm a big believer in opposites. He's out in front of me right now, so I'm gonna turn around. Come on, let's go. Wait, beautiful. Come on, Willie. That's my boy. Wait. Oh, that is super. Let's go. Wait. So you need to be relaxed. I hold my leash very lightly. I, I just lay it between, lay it around my fingers here. Close up my hand. Come on, let's go. But I'm going to be very picky with what I want. I'm also going to displace my dog. I want to, I want so many dogs encroach on you. No, you've got to yield to me. Back, back. Ooh, right there. See how you snapped it? That back there. There you go. Thank you. He's starting to do pretty well. So this here is the magic in it. Because today is a chilly day out here. Now I'm going to use my arm more than anything. If he wants to get out in front of me a little bit, I'm just going to bump the leash with my arm. Or if he's behind me, I'm going to bring him up with my arm. Wait, sit, no sit, no care, no problem, heel. If he wants to go too far out, pressure's going to be on him. I expect that I could stand here with my dog for 20 minutes if I wanted to. Once again, if he's pulling, the pressure's gonna be on me as well. If he's pulling me and it goes out front, then I'm gonna turn and go this way. I'm gonna click the next time the leash or the pressure dissipates off my body. All right, so you can see what a difference this makes. Now he is not a very well-focused dog. We would need to work on some attention work here first. 
Anyhow, thank you so much. Jerry Barnes, The Well-Healed Way, demonstrating my calming cord. Thank you.